Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, guys. This week, I'm going to be telling a lot about up here north because I started to fish north now that I'm fishing with croaker. So in here, along um, these lines in here around sulfur, been catching some good trout, been catching a few scattered reds. The reds have been coming on cut bait and live shrimp. The trout have been coming on live croaker. Uh, but I'm just highlighting this area because the tide's still up a little bit. And, uh, you know, you can come in here and catch them anywhere from a foot to a foot and a half of water. Uh, right around the edges of those channels and up in here by uh, Sulphur Road Flats. Up here by the causeway, we've been catching some good trout um, all, all along the Laguna Shores area. But I like to put this area in because you don't see a lot of boats running in here. And the reason for that is, is there are poles and PVC pipes. There's just a ton of stuff to hit. So I don't recommend running through here on plane. Um, because once you get off the red dot channel and you're over here on the right hand side or the, sorry, the far west side of the channel, it's just not a good idea to run in here. I will run as far as Sweetheart Island, and then once this channel turns, then I won't run anymore because I don't have all the poles marked up and down this channel here. But this is where we're catching most of our fish, guys. Um, these fish have been in here for a month. I just haven't put it in my report. But now that now that y'all know, everybody knows, uh, we're going to come in here, throw live croaker, and uh, catch a good mix box of trout and reds. All right, guys, up in here, uh, I've been uh, fishing this channel, uh, this pure oil, uh, but also I've been fishing some of the sand pockets up in here. You see this channel that runs, I'm going to draw it, but don't fish all of it. Um, it comes all the way down to the shoreline here at the base of pure oil, but it runs all the way north and it comes into Nighthawk Bay. The section from Nighthawk to the ICW, that gets hit a ton. But the section from the ICW to the drop off, this doesn't get very hit very hard. And you can just come in here and get upwind of the gut and fish um, some of this area that's not getting run over and it's not getting hit hard. When I say run over, it's not getting run over by boats. And it's not getting fished by fishermen. Uh, but you can only really see this gut because it's not marked with PVC poles. And you can only see it on your e-card. So mark this on your e-card. And you'll be able to catch some really nice trout in here. And this is the time of year to do it. Last but not least, I'm going to put in here. Uh, the King Ranch shoreline. See all this sand along the King Ranch with the tides being up and the sand up on the shoreline. That's where you want your baits to hit when you're using that cut mullet or cut skipjack or cut uh, shad. Uh, just come in here. What I do is I fish a spot where there's sand coming off. I, I like to pre-mark my areas. So before you head out on the water, guys, Mark some of the areas on the shoreline that have lots of sand on it. And then when you come, come out here and you're ready to fish, you already have your spots marked that you're going to fish. That way you hit one or two of them, move down two, three hundred yards, hit another one, move down two, three hundred yards. You might only pick up one redfish at each spot, but maybe you hit a spot that you pick up three or four. Guys, you only need three redfish to limit, and it's a good, effective way to catch lots of fish. Not the most fun to catch fish, but if you want to sit back, drink a cold one, and just watch the rod go off, that's the way to get them. Down here on the south shore, and when I say the south shore, I mean tight, tight up to the shore. This spot's a good wade fishing spot. There's been a ton of redfish on this south shore. Um... Just, but you kind of got to get out of the boat and wade fish them. Unless you got one of those little pulling skiffs or, you know, just a real shallow skinny running boat, you can get back here. But really just uh, get out of the boat and walk up and down this shoreline and you'll see lots of redfish. Um, tides up, fish are tight to the shore. 
uh, throw live shrimp at them. Don't worry about wade fishing. You know, when you're wade fishing, I always just throw plastics or a spoon or just something I can throw out in front of them because those redfish just attack it as soon as it hits the water. Over here at East Clayburg Point, we've been catching some good trout, uh, getting a few black drum in here mixed, but uh, it's been a good area to get. Um, you know, sometimes you got to sit in here a while and, and use your trolling motor, guys. Please, please, please use your trolling motor. That's the biggest complaint I have is people don't use their trolling motor when they're in here, especially when they're inside the rocks, which a lot of the fish are right now. If you don't use your trolling motor, you're just driving around in here, scaring the fish around. You're, you're hurting yourself as long as hurting everybody else that's wanting to fish out here. So um, just be real careful when you're in here. There's a lot of rocks. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of fishing pressure on here. Use your trolling motor. Let everybody catch enough fish to go home with. Over here at Point of Rocks, women kept some good fish, uh, scattered puppy drum, and... Uh, some scattered trout through here. Live croaker's been working best with the trout and just uh, just a free line of shrimp with a split shot or a light sinker with a light knocker rig in here. Just throw them up in the rocks and just wait till the drum hits it or the trout hits it. They're, they're in here. Uh, just come here, catch some fish. This is a good spot to take your kids just because uh, they like to catch those drum and they like to catch the trout um, and it's real easy fishing. I'm Captain Grant Coppin. Thanks for watching.